Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock when news the war in Ukraine continues in something of a stalemate process as the spring thaw bogs down the Russians, but they are bombing indiscriminately still. Western investors, however, no longer seem to be preparing for an international financial meltdown. Equity markets are recovering, bond yields are back focusing on the US Fed, oil prices are very much lower today, and the main economic fallout seems to be just on Russia. Anyway, that's what markets seem to be signalling despite the changed economic conditions. In the US, American mortgage applications rose and by more than expected last week. And mortgage interest rates slipped back to at the same time. But these lower rates are not expected to continue for long, so borrowers piled in on the opportunity. The USDA WSDE March report indicated that global market for wheat may not be as tough as first thought. Rising volumes from Australia and India are helping offset the Ukraine uncertainties. The same report sees lower US dairy production and so prices are expected to rise on continued demand strength. And Japanese machine tool orders slipped in February from January, although to be fair they're still running very much higher than a year ago. And China's inflation rate is staying low, running at only 0.9% in February. That was as expected though. Meanwhile, China's producer prices rose 8.5% in February from a year ago, slightly higher than expected, but lower than for January. Although capacity is still constrained, air cargo traffic volumes are recovering and back to pre-pandemic levels. They're up 3.2% in January from the same month a year ago, with the Asia-Pacific international trade by air up 5.5%. And Australian consumer sentiment is falling on a growing set of factors that compound each other, including the pandemic, floods and war. Housing gets an honourable mention too. And the flooding disaster in New South Wales and Queensland has prompted market experts to predict home insurance premiums will rise at a much faster pace. 10% rises are on the way, as a start, and insurers are increasing their natural disaster provisioning. The US Treasury 10-year yield opens today at 1.92%, up another five basis points from this time yesterday. It's back to pre-invasion levels. And the price of gold starts today at $2,001 and down $43 from this time yesterday. And oil prices are very sharply lower today too, down by $6 a barrel. And in the US they're now just under $114 a barrel, while the international Brent price is just under $118 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar will open today a little firmer at just on 68.5 US cents against the Australian dollar at 93.5 Australian cents, which is slightly lower, against the euro or a half a cent lower at 61.8 euro cents. But that all means our trade weighted index starts today at just on 73.4 and little net change from this time yesterday. We welcome your feedback. Leave a comment below or on our website. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.